unlocked places as a service which searches across many different sources of data, mostly open geographic data, and provides the user with points or with detailed shapes, footprints, bounding boxes representing the places that they're searching for. Uh, Unlock also provides the Unlock Text Service, which is a geoparsing service which extracts location information from documents and leaves them geotagged with the most likely locations. So we developed this, this software in partnership with the, the Language Technology Group at the School of Informatics in Edinburgh, so quite a, a serious, dedicated research group of computational linguists. And the, the Language Technology Group weren't particularly specialists in geographic information, so Adina came to them and helped develop uh, different algorithms for being able to pick the best known locations um, and that's when we wanted to start adding more data sources to unlock places to provide better coverage uh, particularly to provide worldwide coverage so that we could enable the service to be used by researchers around the world just not just in the UK. Right, so Unlock began based on Ordnance Survey's master map data. Adina provided this uh, license for educational use only um, and a lot of work was done extracting more semantic detail from master map that the Ordnance Survey products don't necessarily provide, uh, looking at names to figure out feature types and returning more information to the user. So it provided a very rich search of shapes of rivers, detailed outlines of towns and so on, um, but of course what it was missing was the ability to be to be reused in other applications, uh, to be to have the data and republish it as part of an academic publication, and so on. Um, so soon after I started at Adina, we started looking at different open data sources to add to the service. Uh, the first of which is GeoNames, which is a, a worldwide public domain data set of many millions of points worldwide. Um, and we also incorporated very soon after the, the launch of Ordnance Survey Open Data, we were one of the first people to reuse that data in an application. Um, and this Ordnance Survey Open Data for the UK provides us with uh, detailed boundaries for political areas, um, it provides postcode lookup and geocoding, so it's great to be able to, to offer that without registration to anybody, so really turn Unlock into a more free and open service. Um, and quite recently we added to the service Natural Earth, which is a, another public domain project that provides quite detailed sort of political boundaries worldwide. So, so Adina's collaboration with the Language Technology Group began as a series of projects, uh, mostly looking at some historic archive text mining, so taking 19th century parliamentary reports and population reports, digitising them, and then extracting and geo-referencing the content, sort of geo-enabling archival collections. Uh, LTG discovered that the the quality of the extraction of place names from from a document is much higher the more place names that you can successfully identify. And in a lot of the historical cases, uh, place names were being missed because they weren't in the contemporary gazetteers, the names had changed. Um, so as a result of this, we started looking at ways to augment our contemporary gazetteer data sources with uh, deeper historic uh, rich data. So it's, it's being used in various different ways. It's being used by a, a map search and ranking service that various national libraries use to publish their map collections. Um, and it's also being, being used by several web services, mainly for postcode geocoding, so to be able to use a search by postcode and, and get the approximate location or to geocode collections of records based on their postcodes. Obviously the further back in history the, the more problematic that becomes, but postcode geocoding will get you a rough level of accuracy precision. Um, so how else is it, you know, we've used we've used Unlock um, within, the, within the Chalice project, within the historic text mining project, we used it to, to align some of the, the name, the the historic names in the English Place Name Survey with contemporary sources, with geonames, and also Ordnance Survey Open Data. Another project that's used Unlock has taken transcripts of interviews covering a certain geographic area and used Unlock, and, and used Unlock text to pick out locations of likely places within the transcripts and geolocate the centres of activity. Um, that, that same process has been gone through with parliamentary transcripts again to sort of show a focus of of, you know, of where the parliamentary discussion is, is, is happening. 
Um, the Unlock Text service has also been used, uh, plugged into institutional repositories, so a, a new learning resource or a, a publication goes into a repository and Unlock Text is you know, experimentally used to pick out the locations and provide more metadata for the user to make the content more searchable and more linkable across, across geography and provide the sort of missing links between archival collections.